Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, depending upon how much clearing you've seen, how much sun is out really dictates how warm temperatures are throughout western Connecticut between 75 and 80 along the New York border heading to 91 up and down that corridor. We've got temps in the low and mid 60s. Meanwhile, southeast Connecticut, Norwich, Chester, Groton only in the low and mid 50s at the current time. But temperatures will likely come up a bit more where they're a little bit cooler as the clouds continue to erode. So there's our view uh, from New London showing a lot of cloud cover there, 53 in southeastern Connecticut, but a much brighter scene uh, from Middletown looking over Route 9 and downstream of the Connecticut River and also from Waterbury. Uh, just a few puffy cumulus clouds out there close to 70 in the Brass City with a south wind at 9. So the, the wind is going to be intensifying as we head through the next several hours from west to east. We could get some gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour. Uh, all as a front moves through. So you can clearly see throughout the region uh, any sort of widespread thunderstorm activity and really heavy rain today has been off to our north as an area of low pressure has been tracking out of the eastern Great Lakes and into northern New England. So in advance of that, a southerly wind uh, behind that front, it switches to the west and northwest. So as this front moves through this evening, that's when the wind really starts to pick up. So in advance of that front, quite warm, 82 in New York City as well as in the nation's capital, but Scranton, Pennsylvania, 66. Buffalo, New York at 39. So we're not going to get that chilly of air coming into Connecticut for this weekend, but we are going to trend cooler relative to today. So future cast as we step you through this evening, uh, the cloud cover continues to erode. We'll go mainly clear overnight. We will see ample sunshine from when it rises tomorrow to when it sets. So tomorrow certainly the day to get out and spend time outdoors. Uh, temperatures will start off in the upper 30s in the Northwest Hills, low 40s elsewhere inland, mid 40s along the 95 corridor. Windy tonight, uh, not as windy tomorrow, still a little bit breezy, but otherwise mostly sunny, dry, uh, with temps topping out between 60 and 65 inland, upper 50s near 60 along the 95 corridor. So still over 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Then plan your indoor activities, house chores for Sunday, because we'll see maybe a few peaks of sun early, but otherwise over Cast sums up our Sunday morning by late morning and lunchtime, especially uh, rain begins to develop and work across Connecticut. We could see several waves of rain uh, at five o'clock in the evening, still some scattered showers, and then another wave comes in seven, eight o'clock at night. In fact, can't rule out a couple rumbles of thunder, but as we head toward midnight, as we end the weekend, uh, that rain all comes to an end. So in our early warning seven day forecast tomorrow, again, the pick of the weekend, temps in the 60s, breezy and bright, then cloudy and just downright soggy or wet on Sunday. Sunday highs in the in the 50s then on Monday windy bright and a little bit cooler highs in the upper 40s so a little bit below average for this time of year but back into the low 60s by Tuesday mid 60s on Wednesday a more potent cold front moves in Wednesday night into Thursday that's going to bring rain that could possibly end as a little wintry mix or snow and then by Friday of next week high temperatures at least as we see it now may not make it out of the 30 so much more on that as we get closer in time meanwhile for the shoreline this weekend getting near 60 tomorrow several degrees cooler with rain likely on Sunday